You got any? <coughs> oh! What the heck? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dee Dee, and today we're going to be watching a movie called Haywire. Um, this movie has been requested by a subscriber, and they uh, said that it was pretty good. So um, let's check it out and um, let's see how it goes. So without further ado, let's get into the movie. Okay, just standing there. Outside the uh, cafe. I think she may be on some shady type stuff. Oh, maybe she waiting for somebody. Magic Mike. What the hell are you doing out here? Turns himself in. Why would he do that? What exactly did he say I did? He didn't. He just said to come pick you up. Nothing else? Nothing about Barcelona? No. Nothing about Dublin? Nothing about Paul? You're really not getting in the car, are you? No. You got any? Oh! What the heck? Damn! Damn! Oh! Oh! You got a car? You got a car? <laughs> Which one? This one? No, no, passenger side. Give me your keys. What the hell just happened? <laughs> I mean... What's, what's happening? Where are you taking that me? That was... Put your seatbelt on. Lord. He beat the crap out of her. <laughs> At least this is in a situation where they actually helped. <laughs> You got some people that just uh, sit there or record and some shit. Uh, good job, dude. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Now take the tape, wrap it around the gauze so it stays on my arm. Okay. Okay. That should be good for now. Hey. Jesus. That's the sky high guy, by the way. Never been late. Scott. Thank you. Was he your. You know? No. No. Dang. Where did you work with him? <clears throat> Barcelona. You in the drug business? No. Were you with the government? They contracted a company I work for. A private company. So what do you do? What's your job? He asked a lot of questions. <laughs> but I guess I understand. No, no, it's clean. Hey, Zorro and the Ant-Man. The original Ant-Man. He, he's at real good actor too. Barcelona. The four points. A better immunity language, more access to intelligence. This fee structure is unacceptable. Intelligence. Yeah, I need parity with Rodrigo here and all his people. So is she like in the CIA? Or private contractor with state, right? All right. Okay. Oh. Okay, hey. so let's move to four. Yeah, Victor will be here at 4.30, and Jamie's running late. Hey, look, I know it's more efficient if we wait for everybody to get here. But you want to start going through this? I've got some ideas. You're right. It's more efficient if we wait for everyone to get here. <laughs> it makes sense, bro. This should be fun. Tell me about Kenneth. What about him? How long have you worked together? Three years. 
You said four points. You have Mallory Kane as an essential element. Is that a problem? Not a good precedent for me, for my business. Boy, that doesn't work for us if she's not involved. She's not available. You mind if I call and check on that? I didn't realize your interest extended to personnel. No, no, no. Now, when somebody's good, it comes to my attention. Mm -hmm. The reason we came to you. Wow. All right, I'll free her up. And I'll forego the hazard bumps if you remove the essential element clause. That important, man. Do you want her in Barcelona or not? <laughs> Bad guy number one. Stalking this guy. They're gonna blow some shit, isn't it up? Oh, so you can get in. Explain it to me then. Easy. So I can understand it. How are we not like Need you two to breach with. You're going hot on a hostage rescue. There's two rooms inside. So, the way I read it, you're either two men short in one room or you're one man short in each room. Anyone else think we're alive? Look, it's a job, bro. Good to go. So they kind of always had, like, beef. Oh, shit. Dang, waste no time. At least wait until you get up the elevator. Use the elevator or How they not account for garbage day? Well, some getaway. Come on, I need to hurry it up. Come on, get in the car, get in the car. Hurry up, hurry up! Shit. How you how did it, how, why did it have nobody looking around that corner, bro? I guess she ain't a long range sniper, huh? I'll be like, pop! I'm surprised she hasn't caught him yet. It's a long ass chase. <laughs> Maybe her whole point is don't speak. Walk in front of me. If I touch you, drop to your knees. Do you understand? Is this your idea of relaxing? Wine and gun maintenance? There's another glass in the kitchen. You leave me have a number afterwards? Why? You want it? If you stay here. I don't know, maybe I'm... Uh, okay. You gotta get your rocks off somehow. Yeah, all that. Cheap. Hey, you know? Oh, okay, do you. So how did it get from that? To throw a coffee in her face. Oh, <laughs> seems like they got keys. Are oh, they trying to break in? Hey, 
came by because you weren't picking up. I just landed. Yeah, two hours ago. I've been away for nine weeks. That was my third job in a row. Give me a break. They close like that? Alright. Your buddy's just like his No, the ass. I have an assignment. Well, your timing sucks. I haven't even unpacked yet. Oh, oh this will take no time at all. It's like a paid holiday. This will take no time at all, starting when? The client has asked for you. Mallory, it's MI6. It's a new in for me. I can expand. Yeah, sounds great for you. Let me turn the volume up a little here. You probably heard me mention the name Paul. This is your pitch? You want me to be eye candy? MI6 wants me to be eye candy? Look, we'll do this, and then we'll go away afterwards. We'll go to Mallorca. Mallorca? Not like before. As friends, you can take a break. Paul. Th that's Paul. And she literally just got back two hours you guys ago, like bro. The perfect couple. So we'll know you. I need this to happen. Oh. Dumb. Hi. Hi. I have a light look, bro. Let's just get this done. <laughs> Today, you know what I'm saying? Mind if I freshen up first? Presumably, you'll need more time. Go ahead. I wonder what those are. That's gotta be odd, you know what I'm saying? To not really trust someone like that. Like, I don't know, I wouldn't really trust people. Even working with people I don't even know. I just, nah, I need a team I can trust, you know? See, like she looks suspicious already. I don't much blame this shit. See, this is the type of woman who has been in the game for a long time. She's already putting in measures to make sure that if something happens, she'll know kind of what's going on, all yours. how to track, all that type of shit. <laughs> she took her phone. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, I, you know what? I get it. I get it. You don't know these people. You don't know each other. So you're trying to figure it, figure it out, you know? Like if they're trustable and all that stuff. I get it. I get it. I'm leaving my gun. Me too. The nice house, mansion. It's not a minute manager, it's a mansion, bro. Who's Rothbro? Not a who, a what, a place. It's where we were supposed to meet Studer. I have a backup gun in my thigh, you know what I'm saying? She don't even, did she ask any no questions, bro? Habitat, Wrong side of the tracks. Kept getting into fights. Big future. Kenneth knows how to put trouble to good use. You have family? Both parents still going strong. Teachers. Two brothers and a rather adorable niece. That guy just recognized me. Who? Gray shirt, gray tie, goatee. See? Eric Studer. Hi. Now listen, I had some brainwave. What are you two doing afterwards? Well, I don't know. You're jet lag, right? Mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry. I mean, tomorrow, this week. No particular plans. We were going back to London. I may have better than this. We're going to Samoris. We? Yeah, some friends. It'll be fun. We'll fly in, put you up at the Servetta. That's some rich friends type she is in here. I'm just kidding. 
We'll fly you, you in. Go to you. I'll take Studa. I should think Sunday. Sunday. Maybe Saturday. If we're lucky. Then let's be lucky. That dude they got. But I thought he got hand over to the good people. Where are you? In the bathroom. I'm not used to drinking so much. My friend from Baghdad has a date. Well, a couple actually. I think it's the pay for guy. Where are you? In the main room. <laughs> uh, I feel like something's gonna happen, man. Mm. What's the point of even asking her to come? Like. Not the boss. Yeah, yeah. Take us. Oh. Polly? So, is the divorce final? Mallory. And... Oh. Shit just got real! Dad, it's now. Things are kind of screwed up here, and I need to come home. Don't worry about me. You just get here as quick as you can. I'll try. Keep your eyes open. I haven't shut my eyes since you were born. Just mm. be careful. And watch your six. It's like, man, you can't trust nobody. And that's horrible when your own government or boss or whoever turns on you. So it's like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I would have changed my outfit. Probably when we're gonna be like, let's not talk about what happened. <laughs> Was it you or Kenneth who sold the Barcelona job to Studer?
what she said, she just landed in New York. Good. Good. Well, uh, why don't you stay off your house line and uh, I wouldn't yeah. go outside till I call you. So he set her up too? Or your family. Sheesh. Who is this? Mallory, hi. My name is Alex Koblenz, and I was with Kenneth Rodrigo when the Barcelona deal went down. Who else besides you knows about this? No, only the people that need to know in order to fix it. The people who thought up Barcelona. Mallory, we did not think up Barcelona. Can you bring me in? We can, yes, but I'd like you to keep doing what you're doing. We want you to bust Kenneth's budget. You know, see how he reacts. <laughs> Everyone he reaches out to, you know, it's like another okay. layer. I promise I'll do everything I can to convince him to meet you. Okay. Then you can find out what we both want to so know, which is not why guy, this is happening. What's going on here? Random road check. All right. Hold on. <sighs> yep. You are a great driver. Oh, shit. Pierre, uh, turn around. Turn around, punk. Proceed with suspects to 2345 Clearview. Repeat mm -hmm. 2345 Clearview and hold. Federal agents en route. living room explaining to him telling him that his daughter is a fugitive with ties to terrorists play like you're shocked the guy with the broken arm aaron get in his head keep bringing up barcelona and i'm arguing with kenneth we could leave right now disappear we could be in buenos aires this time tomorrow i'm not gonna run anymore mr you. kane these were taken by the police they're pretty graphic paul fought back but she obviously had the element of surprise in her favor she choked him out and she shot him in the head no, I'm sorry. Doesn't sound like my daughter. Well, she would never kill someone for money. There must be an explanation. Didn't this all start after Barcelona? Aaron, wanna talk to her? Aaron is like the guy. Mallory. Dad, don't say anything. Give Kenneth the phone. Mallory, I hope you've decided to turn yourself in. You can tell me right now why you sold me out and what you're into with Studer. Yeah. She's she's here. Here where? In the house. Track says she's in the house. Go. Now, you sit. Do we need to have a conversation about Barcelona? Aaron, you were in Barcelona. You know what happened. We rescued a man. Did we? Break her box. Get on it. Lock the doors. What if she's inside? Then we'll pressure cook her. Dang. Tom's down. ID in the breaker box. And try really hard. Ooh. Don't give me a reason. <laughs> no, just go help her. his daughter was a beast <laughs> he's either killed or be killed you better run look i got plenty of drama in my own office you were his contact no i was his employer well i told you you could have kenneth alone at the house i promised you that and the kid who helped me okay i will buy him a new car where is he 
We think he's crossed the border. Possible sightings in Veracruz. So we're back to the government option. Pays less, taxes are taken out, but you get your good name back. I'll let you know. When? When I have him. Sleep. I'm good. Just going for a walk. This cane girl is about to leave her employer and take all his business with her, which he won't survive. So when I get word that Jan has been staying in a safe house in Barcelona, I see an opportunity for everyone. I mean, I hired the girl to rescue Jan. And I deliver him to you. The story will be that she's gone rogue. Now what about Kenneth? Can he guarantee delivery? It's a two-for-one deal. You take Jan out. Uh -huh. Kenneth takes the game girl out. What's in this for you? A new life. That's everything I know. That was Haywire. Um, I gotta say, I enjoyed that movie much more than I thought it I would. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there was a lot of uh, fighting. Like, literally, as soon as it came on, it was just, like, action. And then I was kind of confused at first, like, what was going on. Then I figured, like, her bosses set her up. And so, for her to, like, literally track them down and take them out, like, that's awesome. Plus, not only that, she got a job after all this. <laughs> and her name be clear. So that's awesome but this movie was really good definitely a 10 out of 10 but anyway that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed it if you like it give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe if you haven't i'll see you guys in the next one bye